हेलो व्यूअर्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल द इंजीनियरिंग प्रोजेक्ट इन अवर प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी लर्न अबाउट द वेब सर्वर एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट अ वेब सर्वर विद ई एस पी थर्टी टू इन स्टेशन मोड इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू ऑपरेट ई एस पी थर्टी टू इन एक्सेस पॉइंट मोड In access point mode, ESP32 creates its own Wi-Fi network and advertises itself so that nearby Wi-Fi client devices can communicate with ESP32 port. So, in this mode, we do not need a router as a communication channel between the web server, that is the ESP32 module, and the web clients. For programming. we are using arduino ide to compile and upload a program into esp32 development board next comes the programming part and this is the code we are going to use to implement the access point mode in esp32 module for demonstration purpose we are using the inbuilt led and we will control the led from the client device which is connected with the esp32 module over wifi before uploading the code into esp32 development board let's first understand the working of code the first step is adding the required libraries and header files here we are using three header files first one is wifi.h which is responsible for enabling the wifi module and its respective functions next one is the wifi client.h which is used to create a client that can connect with a specific ip address next one is the wifi.h sorry wifi ap.h which is used to configure and manage ESP 32's Wi-Fi module in access point mode, and this is the LED which is connected to GPIO 2 internally. Next, set the Wi-Fi credentials of the access point, which is the SSID and the password. Set the server port to 80. Next comes the setup function. define the mode of the led that is the output and next initialize the serial monitor with 115200 baud rate for debugging purpose the next step is configuring the esp32's wifi module in access point mode for that purpose we are using this wifi dot soft ap function to enable the access point mode this function is using two parameters that is ssid and password which we have defined earlier next step is fetching the ip address of the access point the ip address of the access point is fetched using this wifi.softap ip function and this it is stored in in this variable my ip next we are printing the ip address continuously waiting for the data input a string type variable named as current line 
is defined to store the string type data received from the client and if a byte is received from the client then it will be stored inside this c variable that is a character type variable next step is creating the html page HTML header always starts with a response code and a content type so that the client device knows what's coming from the server. The HTML page we are designing is to be displayed on client's web browser so that the client can control the peripherals connected with the server device. From this icon and press the enable button from ESP32 development board. Now th this is the access point we have created named as public. Connect to the access point after entering the LED a new URL that is the IP address followed by L where L is indicating the low
now LED is turned off.